Hey, Grand. Thank you for the roses. That's so sweet. I appreciate that. Okay, so today I want to talk about releasing resistance and manifesting. I did a previous video, a couple of videos on my, and I uploaded them to my YouTube channel about manifesting. And I want to talk to those people in the physical reality that may have been manifesting or, you know, um, quantum jumping into a state of being for something for a while, maybe. And, you know, oftentimes when we're doing manifesting and we been focusing on that state of being you know we'll sometimes create resistance because we're holding on to the outcome or the idea of the outcome that life would be better over there better in that stage and we're not liking the physical reality as is you know so that resistance sometimes comes up but I want to talk about it because it it is really easy to find your way back to a state of being where you're at peace with yourself knowing that you are everything that you are really nothing and to know that you're nothing helps you better understand that you are all things and so so when you're manifesting really what you're doing is going from the state of wanting to having it and so first of all you got to know what you want and then in knowing what you want, you have to jump quantumly, jump to that state of being of, of having it already. So that way you're, you're jumping over resistance. You're wanting, you jump over resistance to having, right? And so when you're having it, you're embodying that state. Like if I desired to be here in Arizona and I was somewhere else in another state, I would embody this state of being here where I can see the beautiful palm trees, where I can experience the sun. I will use my senses and me embodying this state of being means I don't see nothing but what I see while I'm in my body. Like, so right now I wouldn't see my face, you know, I would see my hands out. I'll see my, you know, my legs sitting in the chair. I'll see the flowers. I'll experience the wind. So you have to be in the body there. That's what I mean when I say quantum jump in there. And when you get in there, you're using your senses. You know, you want to be able to hear things like the birds. You want to be able to feel, you know, like the sun. You want to see the beautiful clear skies. You know, you want to be able to taste the exotic fruit. You use your five senses when you're quantum jumping to a certain place, right? You're using your human imagination. Cause if I wasn't here right now, I would have to use my imagination to look at the mangoes and the oranges and the birds and the clouds or the sky being so clear. I will be using my human imagination to get to this place. But being there wherever I am versus here, I would, I would also have to ignore whatever is there in my state of being there. So when I open up my eyes there in that other state that I'm in, since I'm from New Orleans, I'll say New Orleans. So if I was in New Orleans right now and wanted to be here in Arizona, I would ignore that state of being in order to get here. I would ignore that Mardi Gras, for example, in order to be in this state of being is what I'm saying. So in my mind there, I would be saying, okay, Mardi Gras, these are my old thoughts. You know, this is my old experience. I want to experience maybe energy for vortexes. I want to experience different types of climates. I want to experience mountains instead. So I would jump into that imagination state of being, right? But so if I'm in New Orleans and I've been doing this for a long time, some people get to a point where it's like, man, I'm never going to make it to, you know, um, Arizona. I'm never going to be able to go hiking and, you know, see Red Rock. And I'm never going to experience the vortexes. I was so close to having it. I was so close. What am I doing wrong? Why isn't it here? I've been trying to manifest this thing here for six months, a year or plus. You know, what's wrong with me? Is, is there even a God? Does God even hear me? Why aren't my manifestation? You know, you start questioning everything. And inside of questioning all of those different things, what you do or what we do is we create resistance. And so now the New Orleans experience and the Arizona experience has this shield in front of it. Like you, you can't get to it because that resistance is the thing that you created stopping you now from getting there. And it has everything to do with our emotions and how we're feeling. Because remember, you use your human imagination to get to the other state of being. 
So your emotions are going to be peaked when you're in that imaginary state of being. You're going to feel it. You're going to see it. And so you're going to feel good. But when you create all that resistance, now you're just like disgusted. You're worried. You're stressed. You're not even the same you. And so you know how they talk about in religion, the so-called devil, even though it's just different polarities that God is all at a different frequencies. But they'll call it the devil when they do something bad. In my talk, if I was to call anything the devil, it'll be our own emotions. <laughs> because those things are the things that will trip you up on your manifestation because you, you start worrying, you start being fearful, you start being impatient. You know, you, you start separating yourself from the love of God and all of your manifestations. So when the chaos comes, you know that that is a shield of resistance that you put in the middle of your manifestations you know that sometimes the chaos will come and then it'll flow again sometimes the chaos will come and then it'll flow and clear again and you know what that means that means your thoughts are wobbling that means sometimes sometimes I'm, I'm manifesting and staying on and I'm just riding it and going with the flow and then sometimes I'm worrying because your thoughts is what's going on, what's happening out here in the physical reality. So you really have to be in tune with it. So this is a good way to release the resistance. Surrender. Surrender. And you know, in my journey, I, when people would say that, I would often be like, no, no. Why would you surrender? Why would you let go of the things that you are wanting? I really didn't understand it though. Sur surrendering is not saying that you let go. Surrendering is, is, is saying, okay, I have resistance here. Yeah? And I know this resistant wall has to come down because I, I want to get to the other side of the things that I desire. And the only way that this wall is going to come down is if I stop the worrying, if I stop being fearful, if I stop doubting. So what could I do to help myself to stop that there? Because it's not working for me. I'm contradicting my own self. So surrender would be something like saying, well, if I don't get, you remember I said, this is me manifesting from New Orleans to be in Arizona. So surrender for that experience would be like, well, if I don't get a chance to go to Arizona, what would happen? Will I die? No, I'm not gonna die. Would that be the end of my, my life? End of my world as I know it in the physical reality? No, no, it won't be the end. Well, what would happen? Well, well, I'll be able to still be in, in New Orleans, you know. I still have friends and people that I love here. You know, really and truly, a God can be a God anywhere, you know. All will be well with me. Everything is perfect as is. You know, so now with that type of surrender, what you're doing is you're releasing the resistance and you're not suffering no more. And so I wanted to share this because... I never really fully understood that and so when you let go of it by surrendering and not suffering in your mind no more now this is energy now the energy can flow again now that invisible wall is I mean that um, wall that was separating you is like invisible now you can flow now you can go on the other side with ease now your manifestation or running behind you once again because you've released the resistance that is so important on the journey because you know how sometimes like you'll see other people you know how, like manifestation coaches well i read comments and stuff but i'll see it and they'll be trying to manifest you know maybe a partner maybe a house or money or whatever and you read the comments and you'll see the people it's like they'll be saying all kind of things against the manifestation like ah oh, i'm never gonna get it I've been looking for a job for 20 years. Nobody ever wants to hire me. Or he doesn't, this guy that I've been liking, he doesn't even like me. He, he pays, doesn't pay attention to me. He pays attention to everybody else. They even have a TikTok that's going viral right now. Um, something about my boyfriend, he with me, but he don't never like nothing on my page, so to speak. He always liking other people's stuff instead of mine. Sometimes we talk ourselves into that wall, that resistance wall, and it gets higher and higher and higher. But to release it, the key is to surrender, to stop suffering. 
And once you surrender to to all being well, no matter what, you start to feel good all over again. But and then at that point, you could jump back into the desire. You could still quantum leap or jump wherever you were desiring in the beginning. Now the resistance is gone and everything is flowing to you instead of away from you. I want to share that with my reflections because it's something that I've learned that is so important on the journey. Because really and truly we can be, do and have anything in this physical reality. All of this is a mental game. And I am so hopeful that everybody that's following me and watching me is playing to win. Whatever it is you're wanting, play to win. Because it feels so good. Because we really only want things. Because we think we're going to feel a little bit better when we get over there and have it and experience it. We want the job because, oh yeah, maybe it'll have maybe a higher status. We want the money maybe so we can go and fly the world and maybe think we're going to be happier. But really the thrill is really learning how to be a master manifester. That should be the biggest thrill for us all. Because once you learn how to manifest one thing, then you'll be able to manifest everything and really truly feel like you're a god in the physical reality that you could be do or have anything that your heart desires being that kind of god okay that's what i wanted to share let me see if i could go through these comments here that sun's starting to be right on my darn camera too let's see see if they had any questions hi everyone welcome thanks miss b for greeting everybody that's so beautiful Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like the birds. I like the birds talking to us in the background. I know they have some little hummingbirds here. So beautiful. Hey, Dion. Thank you for being here. Hey, Mom. <laughs> BB. Just needed to be positive in your human imagination. Definitely. Always. But some people stumble. Because if you want something for a long time, sometimes it could be hard to be positive. You know? Let me see if I can move over. Oh, okay. That's better. Let's see. That is my next. Th oh, destination Glendale. I went there. They have a shaman that live out out here in Glendale that I went to go see, and she pretty much read me like a book. <laughs> she was really good. Thanks for helping. Tap the screen. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hey, Trey. Thanks for being here. Let's see. Hey, Queen. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Surrender. Yes, definitely. Definitely surrender. Remember like when we was in church? When we was in church, they used to have this song. I surrender all, all to you, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. That. That. Really, really this year is spiritual journey. They have a lot of hidden codes in religion. But it's a mindset that I feel like church people haven't embraced the totality of god because they want to maybe bow down and and, and kind of go through little long sufferings whatever but a lot of hidden jewels are in that biblical text to empower those people to really be way mightier than what they are exuding to really be the gods and really be healers you know to heal not just you know themselves but be so powerful that just their presence are able can be able to heal other people because that's how energy works you know it grows it flows to other people it shouldn't be stagnated and just limited to one and that's why when you find somebody on their journey of spirituality they want to share whatever wisdom and knowledge that they have because the cup runs over you know and so they just want to share with the world because it feels so good just like i'm doing today so anyway, like I said, I'm not going to stay here long. I'm about to end this here. If there aren't any questions, let's see. Do, 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 do. Exactly. I feel church shares lack mindset. Hi, Hope. And look at that beautiful name. They really do. It's like lack. It's like, it, you know, it, but, but the, here's the thing. When you realize that all is God and that everybody has to go through their journey, you could also look back at it as, okay, yeah, I was a caterpillar at that time. And I really, really needed that because th then I needed to question that. And then when I questioned that, I had to kind of backslide out of that and 
you know, get out of the program. And it re so it really becomes like a stepping stone. But I don't feel as like some people that do it for years and years and years, I don't feel as if they want to go on another step, you know. They want to, you know, stay stagnated in that place in their journeys. But to each his own, you know, one day they'll come to that knowing, even if it's not a day, it'll be a lifetime because we all must evolve back to Christ consciousness. It just depends upon when you're ready. But yeah, surrender all, surrender. And it does not mean, make sure to put this up on YouTube page. I will. I need to put last week's up. I'm going to put that up tonight. <laughs> Two of them going up tonight. But yeah, make sure you surrender. Make sure, like, you, <laughs> because if not, you're frustrated, you got resistance, and you, you're just going to be waiting and waiting. And all of that waiting on God's unchanging hand is bull crap. You know what we're really waiting on? We're waiting on ourselves. We're waiting on our mind to be renewed and us to get in alignment. Divine timing is when that wall that I was telling you about comes down and there's nothing separating you from your manifestation. Divine timing is when there is no resistance. Divine timing is when you're not upset and you're not worried and you, you're not saying that where is God? Does God exist? No. Divine timing is when you're at peace and you know even if you're not experiencing it right now, that things are always working out for me. That I'm going to get there. Wherever that place is, wherever it is, whether it is Arizona, where a new job, the man, the money, or whatever, I'm there already. I'm there already. Because it, I, I carry it with me. I carry it in my heart. I carry it in my mind. I'm present with it every day every night whatever it is i'm manifesting is with me all the time there's no separation because at the end of the at the end of the day if i am noting then it is noting but if i am everything it is everything just like me so it is me it's just a reflection of me that means that i am not only god but i am that gift i am that manifestation that i'm drawing to me so i'm really just drawing myself to me but I gotta stay in alignment though. I gotta be lifted up. I gotta be lifted up in order for me to be able to draw things to me. I can't be worried about the things that already are me, but then over there, seemingly in another place, I can't be worried about them. I gotta be lifted up. That mean I gotta feel good. I gotta be happy. I'm not talking about that fake it till you make it um, uh, unbalanced state of being happy, just being happy but really depressed <laughs> being happy because somebody said okay i gotta smile but i'm on meds and i really don't want to smile right now it's really hard to smile no not that kind of happy i'm talking about the happy that you know that life is beautiful that this is a journey that i always win that i'm learning i'm learning myself i'm so proud of me i'm so happy i'm, I'm so thankful <laughs> i'm thankful for life I'm thankful for my growth. I'm just thankful for it all. Because I, I could still be stum stumbling on step number one. But look at me now. The little girl in me and, and the woman in me have become best friends forever. I've healed all of my trauma. When situations don't seemingly go so well, I say, what must I learn from this here? What is the lesson here? Because I'm eager to learn. I'm a student. I'll always be a student. That kind of happened. That no matter what's going on in your physical reality, oh, there must be a blessing because this is a little storm. Oh, there's a storm going on. So the blessing got to come. The clear sky's got to come. And it's coming for me. You know, you just flip anything, in the dynamic of anything around to keep your state of mind and your state of being there. And either you don't have to be walking around with a smile on your face because peace could be like this. Love could look like this. Joy could look like this. You gotta go running and telling everybody on the mountain and all of that there to brag amongst nobody else. This is this is a personal thing here in your heart and in your mind. When you got it, you got it. <laughs> and your energy not gonna lie about you having it either. Okay, I'm about to wrap this up. I done thought it around my mouth again. Let me see. Yes, all is well in my world in my life. Yes, thank you, need this. Lack of resistance and surrender. Reminder, yes. Oh, thank you for uh, following me, Hope. I look forward to uh, following you back and seeing more comments from you. Exactly. I am one with joy. Thanks. Okay. This video was from my heart to yours. I gotta go, babe. I'm on my little vacation. So let me go back by my people. But I thank you all for being here. 
Be blessed, babe. Goodbye.